My name is Ben Hartnell. This is my wife, Laura. On October 19, 2007, my son got his first elk tag, and we went out and set up camp, and it was one of the most exciting days of his life. Yeah, we went out in the morning in the truck because it was kind of cold, and we didn't see any elk, and we came back to camp to eat lunch. Well, I'd unloaded my quad, and he kept pleading with me to go right on it. And I said, okay, just go five mile an hour and just stay right around camp. So I was getting ready to prepare lunch and I was setting up camp in the fire pit and he got away from camp a little bit and some other quads were racing around and I go, what's he doing over there? So all of a sudden this kid comes back to camp on his quad and says, is that your son on that big quad? And I said, yeah. And I ran over there and the quad had flipped and killed him. So we're here to make awareness to people to be careful around these machines, especially kids. Ooh. Before we sent our son on his hunting trip, we felt like we did all the right things. We enrolled him in a hunter safety program so he knew how to handle his gun. But you never really think about that before you put your child on one of these machines. There's programs now where kids can get the proper training. There's so much more information available about making sure your kids are on the right size vehicle, wearing the proper gear, their helmets, um, knee pads, whatever else they may need to remain safe. So all we're asking is that people use these programs, use this film as an educational tool. It will change lives. It will save lives. Good, Ziggy. Yeah, what do you think? She's beautiful. Pay attention, because here's what I did. All right, I'm all ears. I cleaned out the injectors, gave you a new set of tires, beefed up the suspension, and I took all the play out the accelerator. So I go faster. Yup, among other things. Nice! Can't wait to get her out there and crank this puppy up. Yeah, uh, hold on there, Johnny Knoxville. I suggest you take it easy. Go slow with this thing. Slow and easy, that's my approach to life, Ziggy. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But seriously, man, this is not the same machine you brought in here a couple days ago, okay? So be careful. Careful is my middle name, Ziggy. You. Careful? Right. Besides, I'm taking Zoe out this weekend for her first real desert ride. There's children involved? Your little girl? Yeah. She's so excited she hasn't slept in a week. Man, I can't believe Lil Zoe's gonna learn how to ride. How old is she now? 10. She's 10? Whew. All right, man, that's a game changer. I gotta ramp this safety thing up. There's kids involved. Not with me, you don't. I'm all about safety. Oh, she wouldn't mind a little uh, pop quiz then, would you? Quiz what? Cool, uh, give me the uh, ATV golden rules. Easy. Rule number one. Numero uno rule is... Um, one. DOT compliant gear, always. No paved roads except to cross. Never ever ride under the influence. No passengers on single rider HVs. Should I be writing this stuff down? 
ride only on designated trails at a safe speed, take a hands-on course. Okay, okay, Z. And for our little Zoe, supervise all riders under 16 and ride an ATV that's right for her age. You don't have to worry about Zoe. I taught her everything I know. Ziggy, your 11 o'clock appointment is here. Ziggy, the front desk. I got another appointment. Look, trailer this thing and meet me at the front desk, all right? All right. And be careful. It's not even on, Ziggy. You got a band-aid, Ziggy? <laughs> it's not even on, Ziggy. Wish I had a nickel for every time I heard that followed by a band-aid request. Thank you. Whoa, whoa, I don't need all that. No, because you already have it. This is for Zoe. All this. Helmet, goggles, riding jersey, elbow guards, riding pants, complete with hip pads, knee pads, and boots. All to ride her little ATV. Yeah, because her little ATV doesn't make the ground any softer. Afraid to find out what this is going to set me back. Don't even start with that money thing, man. That's your little baby. You know, it never ceases to amaze me. And you complain about... Three fifty seven fifty. dollars You have any idea what an ambulance ride in 17 stitches would cost you? No. But I do know what an ambulance ride in 12 stitches would cost me. Shut up. Really? Can you believe it? Her first time on the ATV. She didn't even make it across the backyard. Would you please give that girl a chance of finishing elementary school? Blood, crying, ambulance. Right there in the neighborhood. Your wife know where you're taking Zoe this weekend? She does. She told me I could take her if I was safe and I taught her how to be responsible. Smart lady, your wife. Sipti. Kazuntai. No, man, what's it mean? I don't know. Sipti stands for scan, identify, predict, decide, execute. Sounds like a military term. It's an acronym to remind you what to do before you climb a hill, take a ridge, accelerate or brake unexpectedly. Cool. You gotta scan your surroundings, identify potential hazards, predict what could happen, decide where to go or how to operate, and execute your decision by proceeding slowly, applying the brake, releasing the throttle, going around, etc. Maybe I should take her fishing. Don't even get me started on boats. Hey. Oh yeah, all right. Look man, it's not that hard, all right? Take a look at this, but more importantly, show it to Zoe before you go out tomorrow. Thanks, Ziggy. Oh. Tire? Tire. Yeah. No, I know you told me. I had to pick something up. I'm hurrying, Mark. Yo, man, what hey, are you doing? Hey, Mr. Safety, not even out of the parking lot yet, you're already breaking the rules, huh? I could have been killed. Here? Not likely. Out there? Most definitely. So you heave a tire at me? I rolled a tire at you, slowly. Around here, we call that a trailer check, and brother, you fail. Look, Ziggy, the officer's barking at me. I gotta get out of here. Okay, so you can thank me then. <laughs> thank you. For what? Uh, I assume you want to get back there in one piece, right? What are you, my mother? Look, man, every Friday I send guys just like you out into the desert with these same words of wisdom. Yeah, yeah. And every yeah. Monday, they come dragging these poor abused machines back in for me to fix. Ziggy, I'm taking Zoe to the dunes. That's why I'm being such a pain. Look, bounce back here. Let me show you how to tie this thing down. Then you can go. Promise? Pronto, man. You got a meeting to get to. Please, show me what I didn't do. This is how you do it. Make sure all lights are working. You guys sell brake lights? Hook up safety chains, lock hitch using hitch pin. 
check tires for wear and pressure, check spare tire, check the rear gate, and check the rest of the trailer, make sure nothing's broken or about to break. Cross tie the load using tie downs that are in good condition. Make sure all four corners are tightly secured to the frame using ratchet straps. Secure excess straps so it doesn't go flying around and get caught in the axle. Watch your speed, starting and stopping slowly so you don't jar the load loose. Keep an eye on your load in your rear view mirror. Drive carefully, make wide turns, and always, always pay attention. Got it? Is that it? Funny guy. All right, man, get out of here, go to your meeting, have fun, take care of Zoe, but remember what I told you. Be, Be careful. careful. Thanks, Z. Peanut. Hey, Daddy, it's me. Hey, me. What are you doing home from school? Half day. They must have known we were going to the dunes tomorrow. Excited? I've been excited since last Tuesday. Don't I know it. We're going to rip it up. Hey, shh. Your mother might hear you. Remember, this is a learning trip, kiddo. Because gravity and friction are the enemy, so be smart and be safe. Bingo. Are you coming home now? I got a meeting. Let me see if I can get off. Then I'll come home, okay, sweetie? And then we can pack the truck? Yes. Oh, and Peanut. I got stuff. Awesome. I'll see you when you get home, Daddy. Be safe. Hey, that's my line. Okay, Eric, decisions, decisions. I could go back to work, right? I mean, that's a decision. Although it is a Friday. I should go home. I should go home. Go home, go home, get ready. That's the right thing to do. me to take you out. Short ride, real quick. It's lunchtime in the Valley of the Sun and it's already 102 out there. We're headed for a high of 111 so if you're planning on being outside this afternoon, I say plan again because that's just plain crazy. If however you're fortunate enough to be cruising in your car with the AC on, here's some music to make that drive a bit more comfortable. Carry on. Come up. I forgot, Zoe has a half day today and Kim's gotta work, so I gotta go home. <sighs> Come on, dude. Oh, you know what? That's Kim now, I gotta go. Good luck with the meeting, I'll see you on Monday, alright? Adios. Hey. Are you coming home? No, I'm sorry, sweetie. I gotta go to that meeting. Oh. Yeah, but it's gonna be a short one. Okay, so I'll be home soon. Promise? Yeah, I'll make it extra short just for you. Okay, and then I'll come home. Pinky promise? Deal. Okay, go to your meeting and I'll see you in a bit. Bye, kiddo. Bye, Daddy. Make it up to you tomorrow. Today it's Daddy's turn. All right, what do I need? Long pants, check. Long sleeve jersey. Water. Water, water, water. Mm, check. Food. Helmets. Ah. Check. 
check goggles. Really? Just one short ride. Right? Nice. Alright. Just like riding a bike. Should come back to me? At least I hope so. Use momentum. Move up on the seat. Move forward. Stand up. Torso over the front wheel with feet on footrest. Descent. Weight to the rear. Lower gear. Brake gradually. Watch the ground ahead. And lateral. Both feet on the footrest. Lean into the hill. Soft terrain. Turn wheels uphill a bit. Steady speed. And if it starts to tip, turn downhill. Sati. No. Simply. Doubt that. Oh well. It'll come to me. <laughs> That's what it was. Uh -oh. Scan. That's not good. Oh, God. That's really not good. Where'd he go, Jim? Back at the speed, right? Sir, where's she at? She's in the back. She's in the backyard? You know, it looks like you're lucky this time. All she ended up with is maybe a few stitches, some scratches, some bruising, no concussion, but a bump on the head. The last time we went out, the gentleman who said he was just going out for a little five minute ride, he ended up an hour out. Five minute rides don't happen. We get a little excited, we think about things that we want to go do, we want to try new things. We end up out in the middle of nowhere. When we get hurt, it takes us forever to get to you. Sometimes you don't have the access to call us. Bad things happen when safety precautions aren't followed. We got really lucky this time, but always think about those things. You see this a lot, huh? Fools like me laying flat on their backs. If only you could talk, you could tell me what to do, huh? Not that it would help much. You know, I talk to guys like you every week that don't want to follow the rules, and you're going to find yourself out there laying in a ditch somewhere. Nobody knows where you're at. You're gonna be injured, you're not gonna have any water, and you're really gonna be in trouble. Uh, 
somebody may not even come and find you for a week. You know, I have to go out and find these guys, you know, that, that get stuck out in the desert. And it can be days before we find them because you didn't tell anybody where you're at. You don't have a phone with you. Uh, you're not riding with a buddy. And you can be in some serious trouble because once you crash out there, there's very, very little that you can do to help yourself other than walk out. And if you're injured, you probably can't even do that. So you're just going to have to lay there until the helicopter finds you a week from now. So I wish you would read the rules and please follow them. It'll, it may save your life. Hey. Where are those guys when you need them, huh? I'm sure you need somebody right now. Help! Anyone? I can't be alone. Look at this place, it's trash. I'm trashed. Help! 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 Probably one of the most important things as an ATV rider that you need to remember is that Habitat repairs itself very, very slowly in the arid southwest. Matter of fact, a little damage goes a long way. So if you run over a bush or you tear up some ground, create ruts, uh, displace rocks, anything like that, even though this seems like it might be relatively harmless, it can have severe impacts that are very, very, very long lasting. Anytime you are leaving the trail, you're basically breaking the law. The law says stay on roads and trails. Those trails are there for a reason, and those trails are already areas that are impacted. Anytime you get off the trail, you are compromising wildlife habitat. What time is it? 7.30. Man, I'm in so much trouble. Trouble? Near as I can tell, you're sitting in a pile of good fortune. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> you're lucky to be alive. I'm just going for one short ride. Well, you can't never count on that, son. Ten minutes, tops. And what was that? Five, six hours ago? What is it with you kids? That thing isn't a toy, and riding out here isn't a game. I guess this is my best moment. Maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow you're going to be licking those wounds, and the next day is going to be even worse. Tomorrow I'm taking Zoe to the dunes. Well, if this Zoe's got any sense, she's going to think twice about going anywhere near you on one of those things. She's my daughter. She's 10. She's gonna be so bummed. And rightly so. Shame on you for breaking her heart. Whoa, what are you doing? Well, somebody's gotta drag your tail out of here. Be careful. <laughs> Funny, you saying that to me. Hey, Pumpkin. Where are you? I'm sitting by the truck. What's wrong? Dad? Daddy? Are you still there? You know those ATV rules? You're supposed to go over tomorrow? I know, I know. I told you, that's okay. I can't wait for you to teach me how to ride. Hello? Are you there? Are you there, Dad? Hello? I went riding today, Zoe. 
You went without me? Yeah. I broke every rule. I broke me. I'm pretty sure I broke your heart. I'm sorry. So, we can't go? No. <sighs> no. No, not tomorrow. But you're okay, right, Daddy? Yeah, yeah, I'll be okay. Then that's the most important thing, I think. Yeah, I guess. So come home then, Daddy. Okay. You could teach me to ride some other time. I feel like I'm the right guy for the job, Zoe. So maybe we can learn together then. Maybe take one of those classes. How'd you get so smart, huh? Are you coming home now? Yeah. Yeah. Put your mother on, will you? Night, Daddy. I love you. Be safe. Hey, that's my line. The primary goal of this course is to make each and every one of you guys a better rider, a smarter rider, and a safer rider. Because in the end, you'll like the sport more, you'll be able to enjoy it without risking your life or anyone else's life. Okay, so let's get started, but before we do, I want to give each of you guys the opportunity to go around, just give us your name, give us a little bit of your riding experiences, and tell us why you're here. Okay? So, sir, if you don't mind, would you get started for us? My name's Eric. This is my daughter, Zoe, and I'm here because of her, thankfully. Truth is, I used to ride a lot. I was an excellent rider. Okay, I was a good rider. Was. That was before I made a few really bad decisions. It all started when I decided to take one short ride by myself in the middle of the desert without telling anyone where I was going or what I was doing. I didn't bring any water, I hadn't eaten, left my cell phone in the truck. I wasn't wearing one piece of equipment, not even a helmet. And truth is I hadn't ridden an ATV in a few years. Then I proceeded to flip the ATV over a hill into a ravine, cracked my head, Ripped open my knee, scratched the palms of my hands like you wouldn't believe. I could have been killed. I should have been killed. But I wasn't. Thankfully. So I'm here today with Zoe so we can learn together how to be better, smarter, safer riders. Because I love riding. And I want Zoe to love it too. But I wanted to learn how to be safe first. Okay, so now that we've gone around and introduced each other, we'll go ahead and start the course. If you guys would, we'll go over, get next to your machine, make sure you got your helmet, gloves, and goggles, and we're gonna check the tires and the brakes and everything like that before we actually go out and ride.
story that happens in this movie is something that happens on a daily basis around the United States. It could be happening today in Arizona. Um, you have an individual who knows how to do the right thing. He's, he's been to safety classes, kind of puts aside everything that he's learned and he's taught his daughter and he makes some bad choices. A lot of the safety videos that you see are somebody like me standing there with a helmet and goggles. With our video, there's a message that we send with the safety, but at the same time, it's, it's captivating and it, it keeps your interest. So, so ATV's here, and then um, Ziggy is here, and Eric is here. You put it where you like it, but that's and, and yeah, how I was thinking. Peanut. Hey, Daddy. It's me. Hey, me. Are you coming home now? I got a meeting. Let me see if I can get off. Then I'll come home, okay, sweetie? Then we can pack the truck? Yes. Oh, and Peanut. I got stuff. Awesome. I'll see you when you get home, Daddy. Be safe. Hey, that's my line. I would want to choreograph it, but you're really slamming on the brakes. So my action is going to be for both of you. You'll just have to walk, so it's going to be like that. Um, the only thing is that they can't hear me up there. Is it there. Like this or is it on this? Just watch that. Help me make sure that's this? going to happen. No. <laughs> This. You just said this. I asked, is it this? <laughs> so there wasn't a this at all. Everybody that was a trick question. Oh, wow, you fell. One of the things that we have happening in, in this is we're, sh we're doing kind of primary photography over the course of two days. So we're shooting morning for afternoon, we're shooting middle of the day for afternoon, we're shooting afternoon for afternoon, we're yeah. shooting evening for afternoon. That is 3 o'clock, we have two full scenes to shoot left. We've done one. You do the math. I think we're going to change these out because the ATV actually came in with straps that are probably a little lighter duty. Which, we're right here at an ATV shop, so we're at the perfect place to get better straps for this. Well, these are basically, they've got the ratchet, they've got the S-hooks, but the ratchet will let them tighten down quite a bit. These S-hooks are heavy duty. And then I look at the thickness and the width of the strap, and for an ATV his size, these are thick enough. And then you can even go as far as, as having the uh, spring right here on the S-hook that holds them on. So there's a, you can get way into the straps, but these are sufficient for what his ATV is. So basically what we're doing here is, is making sure that we get it right um, according to Game and & Fish and, and so that when we actually put this together into something that it makes sense and gives something and people something they can model. We had this big complication that happened just now because I'm supposed to have a band-aid on my thumb by this point. The script was shooting out of board. It's going to be complicated. I'm not sure what we're going to do. We might have to move the injury from the thumb to the palm. Crazy. So, 
so what we're going to do right now, we have a, a scene in the script where um, and it's kind of a comedic scene, um, but where Ziggy is kind of working with Eric and he just realizes that he's totally doesn't have this thing on the trailer correctly at all. We want to run him back and forth. I mean, he wouldn't do that on the trailer yeah. really, but you want to make him be here and there and here okay. and there and just be kind of busting his chops. I took what you had and kept all the main points, but just cut the fat out. Right. So it's just like direct orders. As right, like to, you said. Yeah. Yep. This is how you do it. Make sure all lights are working. Okay, so he's down at the back. Yeah. Cut. <laughs> Hook yeah. up the safety chains. Hook up he's safety here. chains. He's here. Yeah. Yeah. But well, we're not going to see him move here. It's just he's here. Yeah. Cut it, Eric, you are so good. <laughs> I was crying. Over. Just like I'm, I'm planning on having some fun tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. Ride some ATV. Yeah, yeah. I want to see if I can get ride the horse. Yeah, yeah. Put that on a camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all yeah. right, all right, we got it. Hey, and I, I want to say before a couple things. A couple things, um, really, you guys, this location tomorrow is 30 miles out Highway 87. And we're there at 7.30, call time. Probably just keep you in first gear. Yeah. Turn this on. Turn your on and switch then, on. Yep. There's a lot of people that when, when we're out working, uh, we see folks pull in on a road, they don't even have their ATV strapped down. In a way, we get to maybe break some rules. We're going to do some riding where we're not going to people aren't going to be wearing helmets. Um, they're going to be pulling some stunts, doing some things that we're trying to get the point across. These are bad decisions. I should be wearing a helmet though. On the wheelie? Um, that's the stuntman's job. But that's just something that happens all the time with folks that go out and ride and, and don't prepare properly. Go ahead and start the ATV up. And just like I said, get progressively more out of control. Go back and forth three times, all right? Go ahead whenever you're ready. Obviously, um, you're riding a machine that's a lot of fun, so you're wanting, people tend to want to go fast. And uh, you're, a lot of times you're on really loose surfaces where you can lose control if, if you're going too fast. You can break an arm, you can break a leg, you, you can break a neck, um, you can fall okay, off so and get and lay down. road rash from the gravel or the right, pavement. There's good. just anything you can think of can happen out here. Oh. Oh. So I always recommend if, if somebody is a new rider that they take uh, an ATV safety course. Uh, the ASI course, which is ATV Safety Institute, is a very basic safety riding class. And especially with kids, I recommend them taking that, that course. That, like when we kind of see him first thing almost because as, as I'm thinking of it if this is down like this you know he kind of gets up and, and looks at this and then it's like holy guacamole yeah. <laughs> you know he like hurt himself like putting this thing on the trailer he's kind of an idiot then the pants would have like a little like right there a little abrasion and then there would be sort of underneath like just a little sort yeah. of non-specific blood on if I tell those two stories I'm totally happy Can you 
Uh, we we can probably get this set up in 15 minutes. Most of our injuries are coming from is just people's inability to operate, whether it's a UTV, a motorcycle, or an ATV. The biggest thing I would say is just safety and preparedness when you're coming out into the to the desert or wherever you're going to ride. But then the preparedness part comes in because, like in the movie here, where Eric Rex he ends up landing over a ditch and he's out there for an extended period of time. Well, he's not prepared, obviously. Uh, he wasn't wearing the proper gear and he was in a hurry, so he overlooked a lot of things. But the, the basic things are, again, the, the safety gear, uh, extra water, a tool kit, helmet, gloves, and goggles. And of course, the, the helmet and, and all of your gear should be DOT or Department of Transportation approved. Basically, um, so we got a guy, he's pitched over the front of an ATV, right? And the way that we're looking at it down there is that he's on the ground, he's facing the ground. There's a, a point where he sees him and he starts to kind of talk to him, right? For, for me, you know, the closer we can put the Gila Monster, but I don't think it has to be this one. I don't even want to shot this. I'm thinking like, no, I'm, I'm saying seriously for the shot. Like it really would be. Yeah, for the shot, you know, I want to. I'll make work whatever you want. This far, this far away. But I definitely need to do some stuff with the two of them together, and it sounds like that won't be a problem. I don't think. Okay. What is it with you here? That thing isn't a toy. Riding out here isn't a game. We're making this movie obviously and he's making some wrong decisions. But for the most part, the people that come out here are doing the right thing. They want to do the right thing. They're, they care about the land. They're not just out tearing it up. The folks that are going out and just they don't know how to do things right, that's the, the folks that we want to get across, get this message across. You know, they're laying in an ER room and they're going to get a copy of this DVD and or they may be watching it on the screen there and they're going, oh wow, yeah, that's what I did wrong. Maybe next time when I go out, I'll, I'll know the right way to do it.